Good morning, Clyde Copter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of the new CX40 Frog. But before we go into that review, I got to give my shout outs to my notification squad. Uh, this week's, or today's <laughs> notification squad winners, there's two. I'm going to give give two shout outs today because I got to catch up. It's been the holidays here and uh, I'm a little far behind. But for today's uh, shout outs, they go to uh, Cameron Conklin and Thashlin Nadu. Now, Cameron and Thashlin both were are both are members of my notification squad and both had recently been the first to shout out first in the comment section down below okay and if you want a shout out on the quadcopter 101 channel all you need to do is first subscribe and then turn on that notification bell on the uh, on the uh, my home page okay and that will notify you when there's a new uh, video coming out mostly i uh, release these videos about six o'clock in the morning pacific time so keep that in mind if you're if you're looking to try <laughs> to get a shout out, but let's go into the review of the CX-40 here. Uh, the CX-40 is an interesting little quadcopter. It is a foldable quadcopter. You can fold it like so. Um, it does have the shape of a frog, I'll admit. Somewhat rem reminiscent of a frog, and that's its name, the CX-40 Frog. And you open it up like so. But what's special about it is um, this optical flow sensor, okay? Uh, Cheerson has, was one of the first to put an optical flow sensor on a toy quadcopter. Uh, the CXOF, I believe. There are there are others, other toy quadcopters out there that uh, did include it, but uh, there's one of the first that actually worked very well on the CXOF, and I'm hoping it works just as well on this one. Um, also, this quadcopter comes with a 720p HD camera, so you can record 720p HP video via Wi-Fi. You get direct Wi-Fi video feed to your smartphone with this particular quadcopter. There is no micro SD card slot for recording uh, the HD video. It is instead recorded directly to your uh, phone or tablet if you have uh, Wi-Fi on your tablet. Now, the bat it is powered by, I believe it's 500 milliamp per hour. Hold on, let me get the battery out. You gotta, I don't have any fingernails today. I clipped them. <laughs> so it is 500 milliamp per hour 3.7 volt it is a proprietary battery so you you know you can get spare batteries but you're going to need to get them from cheerson and there's its charging port there the charging port's not proprietary but the battery is so keep that in mind and putting the battery back in let's go over the controller this is its controller now this can be controlled either via the controller or via the cx40 app from cheerson um the thing is, right now, this is still hasn't been released yet, and there is problems with the app. The app will be corrected, I'm sure, in the near future. But when I try to bind the app with this controller, the app always takes over control of the quadcopter. So I have to fly either via with the controller or with the app. But again, keep that in mind that it will be corrected in the near future so that you will be able to use the controller with the app simultaneously so you can fly FPV. But right now, if you want to fly FPV or record video, you have to use the app. Um, for today's flight, I'm going to start off first flying it with the controller without the app, and then I'll turn on my phone and we'll, uh, do some app flying because this has some very interesting features, namely that in that it can dance. And I have to show you that. So let's go into the flight. This thing, see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the flight. First thing to turn it on, all you do is press this on/off button and put it on a flat level surface. Then turn on the transmitter. Notice that the transmitter has an internal built-in battery that you don't uh, provide your own batteries. You have to just charge it. Now I'm going to uh, bind the quadcopter by moving up and down on the throttle. And this is your automatic takeoff, automatic landing, your rates button, and flip button. And we're going to do an automatic takeoff. Now this should just hold its position. I don't have to do anything, folks. Look at that. <laughs> Let me go around it. My Let's see if my shadow affects its position. That uh, didn't follow my shadow. That's good. Let me get a thumbnail showing you that just about anybody can fly this and that nothing is needed to fly it. This is almost the same as this optical flow sensor is almost the same as having a GPS in that it will hold its position. Now we won't do a real return to home and landing because it doesn't know where it took off from because it doesn't does not have a GPS, but it can hold its position by looking down at the ground and maintaining that position. Let's go up a little bit higher. Let's go out in the bot. This is in low rate. Turning it around. This would be excellent for practicing um, orientation control with, because if you get confused, just let go of the stick and it holds its position right where it's at. So let's bring it back. 
Next thing I want to try is go up a little bit higher. And let's press that flip button. Press the flip button and tell it to flip. Press the flip button, hold it down, tell it to flip backward. Press the flip button, tell it to flip to the right or left. Press the flip button, tell it to flip to the right. So pretty darn neat, huh? <laughs> pretty cool quad copter. Now, let's go to higher rate. We're in high rate now. Let's see how it flies around in high rate. Well, not super high rate. <laughs> how about, there's just funnels. Well, it could do nice funnels. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's see if it stables itself out, stabilizes itself. And there you go. I just let go of the sticks, and now it's holding its position. Now, I want to fly it with the app now. We're going back to low rate and going to do a landing here. And where's that landing button? There's a the land button there. And now I want to fly it with the app to show you its app features. So we're going to turn off the transmitter and turn on the app. So hold on, folks. Okay, this is the CX40 app, folks. To be able to record video or do the advanced features of choreography dancing with the quad cutter, you need to use the app. Uh, we'll go to free flight, and it tells you the surface texture and the lighting conditions that you need to be able to fly this if you want the optical hold to work. Like, you don't want the light to be too dark, and you want to have good contrast in the uh, surface texture of the ground, which I seem to have here on this uh, <laughs> dead grass ground here in this field. And anyways, here's our FPV video. Um, we are set up to fly. What I'm going to do first is turn on its video camera, start recording, and we'll take to the air by hitting this upward, upward arrow here. And the next thing I'm going to do is, you see that button in the center there between the arrows? That is um, not headless mode. Let me go up a little bit higher. But that is selfie mode. And by hitting that button, the quadcopter will turn around and point toward me. And now I can do selfie videos and pictures. Let's take a picture. Go up a little higher to get a better picture. Right about there. Another picture. Now, I am going to control this by the thumbnail. By my thumb. When you're in selfie mode, the back becomes the front of the quadcopter and the front becomes the back so that you can actually do selfie pictures and follow me. It, it becomes less confusing if you want to take pictures of yourself, in other words. That's why it's called selfie mode. So we can walk with this thing. And if you want to stop, just let go of the stick. And again, it'll hold its position there. So, you know, to give you nice selfie pictures. So, you know, you can have your family together and then just hit that snapshot. I'm going to turn this around, folks, actually. I want the sun in my face to give me better pictures. And here we go again. <laughs> How do you like those dimples, folks? <laughs> but it is a pretty dang cool quadcopter, especially for taking selfies. Let's turn it this way now. See, again, I don't need to do anything. I'm just letting go on the stick here. Going up a little bit higher, actually. I want to get the hold of me there. And uh, again, let's do that follow me again. Let's push it out. And follow, have the quadcopter follow me. But I'm manually flying it, folks. I'm not just simulating follow me by doing this. Let's go to this to the left here. Moving my thumb to the left on the pad so that it'll fly to the left. And then, again, I'm going backwards. You pull back on the stick or move your thumb backwards, in effect, to bring it toward you to simulate follow me. Okay, let's try out that uh, dancing feature of this thing. I'm going to hit stop on the video and land the quadcopter by pressing the downward button. There we go. So, pretty dang cool, huh? Okay, next thing is choreography. We'll go back over to the, the launch pad here and open the choreography button. And hit return, hit choreography, and hit skip. And we are going to do... Uh, Let's go into the menu, and we'll pick Demonstration 3. And this is an automatic uh, 
um, program demonstration of what it can do. But you can actually program your own here and save your own dances. But let's hit start. And it plays music too. Let's see what it does. <laughs> the dancing quadcopter. Wow. <laughs> so that is one demonstration. Now let's program our own. To program your own, you go into the menu and you select one of the customize. We're going to customize. And we got takeoff, we got up and down. Or actually, let's eliminate that one. Let's do a squiggly line there. Turn around 180. Left, right, wiggle. Up, down, wiggle. Another up, down, wiggle. And actually, I think those are landing. Hold on. <laughs> let's remove those. Uh, oh, no, that one's landing. So up, down, wiggle, up, down, wiggle. Now, there are others that I haven't been able to figure out how to unlock yet. <laughs> but you can use these others with this. And one more of these, and we will quit it with a landing. So that'll be it. Let's hit start of my customized dance. Oopsies. And it does a little roll, a little roll to the left, or a little yaw to the left, a little wiggle, a little forward up. I've got some more up-downs coming up here. Oh, this is a squiggly. I don't know what the squiggly does. Oh, no, this is the up-downs there going on now. And did I include a landing? <laughs> yeah, I did. There's the landing. So that's a customized version. Okay, the battery's getting low, but I want to. There's one other thing I want to demonstrate before the battery goes out. Let's go back to free flight and hit skip again. Uh, hitting record again, but what I want to demonstrate this also has waypoint modes. And we're going to go to 100. Let's do takeoff. And what you can do is you can draw on your screen. And it will follow a route. Forward, right, back, and left. You know, nothing very impressive, <laughs> but you can have it follow a route. Let's fly diagonally backwards. So that's the other feature this has. And you can also fly it using a G sensor control. Uh, let me come out of that and go back to G sensor control. So if you tilt forward, tilt back, tilt right, tilt left. It also flies that way too. So all in all, pretty capable little toy quadcopter with a neat 720p camera. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed this flight. Before that battery, oh, we've got to push forward. Before that battery goes out, this is quadcopter 101. Let me go up a little higher. Keep my orientation here. <laughs> Let's see how long the battery lasts. Let's go into selfie mode. And you could do follow me like this too, in effect using the G-Sensor control. That might be more easier for other people <laughs> who don't want to use their thumbs on the screen, but you can use the G-Sensor to do follow me. And there goes the end of our flight time. So let me stop the video. So that's the Cherson CX-40 Frog. Pretty neat little quadcopter, very capable little quadcopter. I enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this quadcopter 101. Signing out. <laughs> Thank you.